What is up all my real ones in attendance today? First episode, first video. I know I'm new to this scene. I ain't, uh, if you give me a chance, you're going to love me. I know I ain't really done this before, but we, it's, it's, it's the first time for everything. It's the first time for everything. But before we get into this article, show your boy some love. Go ahead and hit that like button. Share this video with your friends. Come on in to the channel. You feel me? Come on, let's get this shit started. Come on, uh, 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 OBS. Shit. There we go. All right. Xbox Game Pass console and game price increases possible. I know PlayStation just they've up they they've uh uh up their prices on on all of their stuff right uh, just a couple weeks ago. But now, but we had got word that Xbox's prices weren't going up. I knew they were going to be going up eventually because you know inflation. It, it was bound to happen. Plus, all of this acquisition they're getting, it, it only makes sense for it to go up. Now, this is where the ponies is going to come in. But, 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 now you can't complain about the Shoney. Okay, well, at least Xbox gives something for their up for the for their increase in the in the price and then it's not even going to be a big price. I don't believe it's going to be a big price. If if anything, it's going to go up. Game Pass may go up what two dollars so from from for like ultimate it'll be like 17 17 bucks monthly you feel me but let's get into this article head of head of xbox phil spencer thinks it's likely that the company will eventually have to increase the prices of xbox game pass service xbox consoles and xbox video games game pass 2 could all get it price increases at some point down the line, according to head of Xbox, Phil Spencer. Phil Spencer spoke at Wall Street Journal Live and suggested that Xbox will not be able to maintain the prices it currently has forever. That That's true. You feel me? Because Xbox has to make money too. You feel me? Yes, it's it's cool we get all of this at this at this good price and that we haven't been seeing no just drastic increase in our in our price of what we're having to pay but it was it's inevitable okay let's continue phil spencer said we've held on quote we've held on to our console we've held on to price games and we've held price on our subscription i don't think we'll be able to do that forever i do think at some point we'll have to raise the price on certain things However, Spencer stated that it was important for Xbox to maintain the prices it currently has for this holiday season so that it products appeal to uncertain consumers. So that that that's smart tactics right there. That's smart marketing right there. Why would you want to increase the prices of your consoles and, 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 and your subscriptions right before the holiday season like PlayStation did? Mm-hmm. Exactly. Come on now. That that that's that that's just losing your customers, PlayStation. That's just losing your customers. Why would why why would you do that already on top of this whole inflationary spiral? So that's just, you know, PlayStation being PlayStation. Let's keep going. Pre previously Sony raised the price of its PS5 console in certain areas of the world, which prompted Xbox and Nintendo to both assure consumers that there were no plans to increase the prices of their consoles. However, Spencer's comments seem to suggest that it that is an option that at least is on the table. Whether it will actually happen or not remains to be seen, but Xbox gamers can count on the prices for Game Pass consoles and to remain the same, to remain the same for at least the rest of 2022. Yes. Uh, good. Good. Okay. Don't, don't, don't make us have to worry about, damn, are we going to be able to afford Christmas presents? I know my kid wants this Xbox. I know he wants to get these games and this and this, yada, 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 yada. You know what I'm saying? That's a smart marketing tool. Evaluate what's going to be coming in the storm for next quarter you feel me and then adjust accordingly so uh so we got tom warren here saying uh he hints at the uh, uh phil spencer hints that future xbox games it's just him tweeting about it and uh 
So right now, Xbox Game Pass costs nine ninety nine a month for the vanilla version, basic Game Pass, just straight up Game Pass. While Xbox Ultimate Game Pass Ultimate costs fourteen ninety nine. Xbox Game Pass Ultimate includes all of the benefits of the vanilla Game Pass plus PC Game Pass access to EA Play and the Xbox Live Gold benefits. Considering the sheer amount of content that one gets in the exchange for their Xbox Game Pass Ultimate subscription, fans have been anticipating a price increase to happen eventually, but the question remains how big such an increase would be. Yes. So, I don't think, like I said, I don't think it's going to increase that much. I don't think it's going to go up that much. I think it may go up $5 max. Five dollars max. Okay, I don't. I don't think it's gonna go up exponentially. Okay, it's still gonna be relatively affordable, but I also think they're gonna separate the subscriptions of PC Game Pass and Xbox Console Game Pass. I think they're also they also may do that. Right now, Game Pass costs nine nine. Oh, I just read that. It seems unlikely that Microsoft will bump the price of Game Pass Ultimate to be much higher than that Sony than what Sony is currently offering as its Game Pass competitor. PlayStation Plus Premium, for example, for comparison, PlayStation Premium costs seventeen ninety nine per month or one nineteen per year. Those that buy the er, the yearly subscription to PlayStation Plus Premium are saving sixty dollars compared to those that pay for Xbox Game Pass Ultimate every month. But the monthly price of premium is a few dollars ahead of Game Pass Ultimate. For now, game, Xbox gamers don't have to worry about price increases happening in the near future, though they should keep in mind that this is something that's potentially on the cards. Yeah, so I don't think it's going to go up that much. I, uh, I believe it, it, they may mirror something of the PlayStation uh, 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 price points, but the yearly subscription they may, they may finagle. Okay, that's just in my opinion what they may do. I don't think, like they say, I don't think it's gonna go up this year. They're not gonna raise it before uh, 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 a holiday season just as a smart marketing move. That 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 doesn't make any sense to do. But you know, PlayStation doesn't make any fucking sense. But they did it any fucking way for their consoles. But tell me what y'all think about this article. Hit me up in the comments. I like I said, this is something brand new. Uh. I'm I'm new to the scene. Uh, your 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 boy is is still wet behind the ears. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I, I just I, I still don't even have a mic. I got to use my headset mic. You feel me? So tell me if the audio is good. If you like if you like my back, if you like my setup. You feel me? What I'm saying? Hit me up in the comments. I got I got my you know got my got my uh uh, uh channels down in the in the bottom. Hit them up. Comment. Subscribe. Like this video. I see y'all in the next one. Peace. It's your boy.